I'm going to go over a report with you that you may need to use within the software. Let's say you have a customer and you need to know how many times they took a specific item throughout the course of work that you've done in the service program. Uh, maybe you need to know how many times you've brushed and skimmed something or how many times you've added something very specific to a customer that you've charged them for. What you're going to do is you're going to go sign into the service program and along the top of the software we're going to go to report selection and then we're going to go to our inventory center. This brings up your inventory report center. There's more than just the one report I'm going to show you today, but this one's called the item summary report. So what you're going to want to do is if you have a specific customer with a date range, you could put in a date range. I'm going to leave the default date that I have in here, 1-4-2017. In fact, I'm going to change that to 1-1-2017, all the way up till today's date. And if I use the item summary report, if I leave the item blank, the system's going to show me all the items that a customer's taken. So for example, maybe I want to know what items Brazil Food Market has taken since the beginning of the year. Leave the item blank, hit print report, and you'll see right here, it tells me the date range. And it's also going to tell me what they've taken. Uh, they took item one four times, item two twice, and the notes item three times. And then it also gives you a, a total that you've uh, charged them. Now, if we do want a specific item, we could select something specific, such as item one, and then select Brazil Food Market from the dropdown. Maybe I want to see uh, how many times Brazil Food Market's taken item one. And right there, you'll see right in the report. That's all you really got to do to get the, uh, the number of items used. There's other reports here that you can look for in other videos.